Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back your lovely faces to another video here on the channel. Fingers crossed that the audio is working better for a lot of people. YouTube have finally got back to me. They've asked me to change a couple of settings in the uh, in OBS and fingers crossed if it works, brill. If it doesn't, I have no idea what to do. But ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to take a look at something that... Johnny Depp has uh, come out and said, which, again, we all know this, and to be honest with you, as you can see by the thumbnail and the title, there is no Pirates of the Caribbean without Jack Sparrow. So this is what we got. Pirates of the Caribbean, Johnny Depp is hopeful he will return as Jack Sparrow. Pirates of the Caribbean star Johnny Depp is reportedly looking to make a return to the gigantic Disney property as his iconic character, Captain Jack Sparrow. Future of the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise has been left completely up in the air following the release of the fifth movie, Salazar's Revenge, here in the UK, Dead Men Tell No Tales, and everywhere else. 2017 movie was the least successful picture in the Disney franchise, even though it made 800 million, grossing the least of all the sequels since Curse of the Black Pearl. Since then, Johnny Depp has reportedly been taken out of the franchise's future. Number of projects set in the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean universe are reportedly in the works, including a sequel to uh, number five. At the moment, it is uncertain whether Depp will be making a return to the Disney series, but a new report reveals he is looking to make a comeback. The report says Depp is still holding out hope. He'll be brought back to the series in some capacity. This is what we want. Everyone needs. You cannot have it without him. I was saying this in the stream last night. It's like watching a Batman film with no Batman, you know? It went on to suggest he could either make a brief cameo in the film or a larger supporting part in the as yet yet unannounced movie via We Got This Covered. Of course it's them. He has been playing Jack Sparrow since the Disney series' first movie, Curse of the Black Pearl, all the way back in 20, uh, 2003, yeah. He is also the only actor who has appeared in every Pirates movie since its release. However, executive producer for the series, Jerry Bruckheimer, hinted the star might not be making a return to future films. Speaking about Pirates 6 in 2019, we're working on the draft right now, and hopefully we'll get it shortly and give it to Disney, and hopefully they'll like it. We don't know, we've been working on it for a little bit. Bruckheimer added, the one we're developing right now, we're not sure quite what Johnny's role is going to be. So we're going to have to see. See, that part there, to me, it indicates that we don't know what's going on. It's it's almost like Jack Sparrow's in it, but if he's not, we can just change it to a different character. That's what that reads to me. Depp has also recently been embroiled in a public legal battle against his ex-wife, A.H., over these claims. To make matters even worse for Depp fans, there is reportedly another movie in the works with the Suicide Squad star Margaret Robbie at the helm. And with that there... We saw it last night because the Suicide Squad, when it, it, it's made 20 million less than what it cost to make. The film cost $185 million to make, the Suicide Squad did. And the Suicide Squad only made worldwide $165 million. To everyone, that is classed as a major bomb, a major flop. And it's kind of funny how you think about... Because it says in this article regarding, uh, regarding the fifth one of how it made less than the others. You know, it's a, you know, the 2017 movie was the least successful picture in the Disney franchise. Grossing the least of all the sequels since Curse of the Black Pill. Salazar's Revenge, number five, you know, Dead Men Tell No Tales. It made just under $800 million. And they're classing it as a failure. The Suicide Squad cost $185 million to make. It grossed $165 million. The Suicide Squad would have had to have made at least $500 million worldwide to break even. It didn't even break its own, uh, just bringing back its budget. It didn't even do that. So how can you say you're going to have the star of that film come in to a film series like Pirates, where nearly every single film has grossed close to a billion. How are you going to do that? And you say, oh yeah, we're going to, we're going to make a billion because she's in it. It's not Margot Robbie's fault. It's not hers. But people are not going to go and watch 
a bloody Pirates of the Caribbean film without Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp is Pirates. There's no other person you need in those films. You got Johnny Depp, it's going to make over 800 million or up to 800 million no matter what. It's going to do it on the edge. You know, like I say, Dead Men Tell No Tales, it made, you know, like I say, it made 800 million. And to me, it's actually one of the best of the series. But oh, people didn't like it because number four on Stranger Tides was absolutely abysmal. But again, no, on Stranger Tides made over a billion. But then they were like, oh, you know, it made over a billion because everyone wanted to see a new Pirates film just after At World's End. People were like, oh my God, we need a new one, we need a new one. So it came out, made over a billion because people wanted to go and see it. But then people were like, oh my God, you know what? Yeah, it's not that good, is it? New one came out, oh, is it going to be any good? That's why it didn't make over a billion. Guarantee it, if number four was good, number five would have made over a billion, 100%, because that's how these things work. But it is, you know, that's why I just thought I'd bring this to you, because it's an interesting article, because they're going on saying about Johnny Depp and everything else, and it's like, oh, well, you know, it's uh, there's a new one, you know, Margaret Robbie, you know, the Australian actress confirmed this news last year, when she revealed in an interview her new Pirates movie would have a lot of girl power. She also confirmed the movie is being penned by Birds of Prey writer Christina Hodson, that is the worst thing they could have put down, is that it's being written by the person who wrote Birds of Prey. To be honest with you, Birds of Prey is a very bad film. I did not enjoy it one one bit, and I absolutely love Margaret Robbie. The biggest issue with this is, if they put down Christina Hodson, if said, oh, she's the writer of Bumblebee... People will be great, because Bumblebee is a phenomenal film. I love Bumblebee. I love Transformers, though. But Bumblebee represented, yes. This is what it's like when a kid has got a Transformer. That's exactly what it is. But they were like... Yeah, she wrote uh, Birds of Prey. Birds of Prey is so bad. And I feel sorry for the people who did it, because... It was bigged up to be, you know, because it's going on by here, how much they make. So... Budget was 82 to 100 million. Box office, 200 million. You know, so it would have been 100 million for the box office for the uh, budget. Extra 100 million for, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, for uh, promotion and everything else. So they would have made, ha they would have had to make at least 250 to 300 million to break even. I believe it's something like 280 million. Here we go. Why they reported the break even point was 250 to 300 million third lowest grossing film in the DCEU and you know they put this above Batman vs Superman in my eyes Batman vs Superman is one of the best films in the DCEU people don't like it because it's dark I understand that but everyone's got different tastes but when you bring someone in and it's like yeah you're not very good we're going to put this film that you wrote which was a box office bomb we're going to say you're part of that and that's where we're going to do it. People are not going to be interested. That's why I've looked at this. But it's just sad to see because any pirate film going forward, it needs you need Gib one hundred percent. You need Jack Sparrow one hundred percent. You know you need those two. And maybe you know, Barbosa's gone now, but even like a little hint of Barbosa or something along those lines, bringing them in. You know. If they wanted to make the film a like a side equal thing, you know, still call it Pirates of the Caribbean or whatever, you could have Jack Sparrow or Gib or whoever just on a fleet and you know pass by like oh, we got oh go, you know we're on another mission or something like that. Yeah, okay, maybe, but you cannot go around calling it oh we're going to remake it, we're going to reboot it, we're going to have girl power instead. That's where it's going to fail because of that. If you say this is set in that universe, but it's a different story. People will, will buy it, 100%. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates, and I'll see each and every one of you soon.